So who does more of the gardening? Who do you think? <laughs> he doesn't know where the weeds are even. It sounds corny, but the rock really tells you what to do. Say Brian likes to say the him. rocks talk to him. Right? And so know. that sound. You got the birds. Cue the deer. That's all we need is the deer. <laughs> it's like a little secret garden back here. And once again, the neighbors have nothing like this. If you want to up the Joneses, get rid of the lawn and put in a pond. It's a slightly overcast day in Naperville, Illinois. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. I'm here with Brian Helfrich, the man, the myth, the legend, our longest teammate on the construction department. And well, this is a while ago. How long we build this water feature? Feels about four years ago. I wish uh -huh. I could remember how old. I think it was longer were. than that. It yeah, was maybe longer five. Than that. One of the biggest obstacles with this one was obviously access, and you'll see that in the second, yeah. the deck and everything else. But the property just lent itself for us to do what we did. The slope all works perfectly with the back backyard and, and so we just took advantage yep. of the existing conditions and carved in a waterfall all right let's go see a new water feature love it the space just literally changed when we walked into the backyard yeah, I mean, right? it's like it's a shade garden and it's gorgeous and don't you love how the sound on this one is what draws you in it's not the actual visibility of the waterfall but the sound of it as soon as we yeah. turned that space and that changed the energy look at this we're pachysandra just completely growing in here and look at that waterfall I love the impatience when they plant them right in the water. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that impatience will grow directly out of the water. The key is to keep them in shallow, shallow water. But that plant you're touching right there is one little plug yeah, out yeah. of a tray yeah. of impatience. Well, I'm going to call this already my favorite part of this one is the impatient water feature. Okay, because it, it just, just adds so much color in a, a shaded backyard. But look at how great it's doing because they're always getting water and that sound. You got the birds. Cue the deer. That's all we need is the deer. <laughs> Greg, look at this rock. Oh my God. I mean, that's, yeah, that's just... not a rock, that's moss. <laughs> <laughs> that's just really cool. And then the hydrangeas growing in. And once again, where does the water end and the land begin? Between the hydrangeas, the impatience, and the moss rock, you literally can't tell where the edge is. Just like a forest. I mean, it's filled in so much. This was a stepstone path that came across and led to those stairs over there. And the stepstone path is really just like a bridge. Yep. It takes you this way, but then it brings you all the way around to that great nice patio. sitting area. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, it's it's like a little secret garden back here. And and once again, the neighbors have nothing like this. If you want to up the neighbors, if you want to up the Joneses, get rid of the lawn and put in a pond. I like what you've said before too, it's especially this one here, it's like a piece of art, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's like they have a live piece of art it's in their It's always backyard. changing. It's always, every season, yeah. all the new plants every year, they can do different colored impatience. It's just spectacular. And it's, I mean, this is what I would call a bird loving stream too. And with this canopy and the amount of natural cover for birds and stuff, the amount of birds that are coming in here, the variety of birds, Yes. It's like having a pond with koi in it. Instead of watching the koi move around back and forth, you're watching the birds dart back and yep. forth, back and forth. And it, it brings nature in. Just spectacular. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy a little while. Oh. And the view from inside the house. This waterfall faces, look at that, their kitchen window right there, 20 feet away from the edge. The last place that you want a water feature is the back corner of the lot. You want it up close and personal, right next to the seating areas, right next to the living area. Even outdoor loving people spend the majority of their time inside. That's why you want it right by the windows.
Hi, I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, where we get to explore the Aquascape lifestyle, and we're here with this thing, the Aquascape lifestyle. Mm. We're here with Brian Helfrich, my head guy from construction. We are in Campton Hills, right outside St. Charles, yep. our hometown. Mm -hmm. And we built this pond a long time ago. Gosh, it feels like it feels like seven, eight years ago. Yeah, I would think so. Two school teachers, right? Two school teachers. Uh, and I remember um, coming on the first consultation with them and um, them kind of showing me the space in the backyard and uh, concerned about like what we were going to build because they had a huge, huge space. Yeah. And they said, just it's your palette. Do Don't you, you love do. that yeah. when customers do that? Whatever you want to do. Here, these are your guys. I'll let <laughs> you right. go first here. I've been here one time. You're in for a real treat. Check this water feature out. <laughs> Look at the, this is the hosta heaven. Oh, God. Look at that view. I mean, you turn the corner and it's like. I love this pond. I love it. Multiple bridges. Oh, what a gift. <laughs> Paradise. We love when we have gardeners. I mean, everything is so, it's so wild, but yet it's still so manicured. No. Oh, great. Good to see you. Nice so who you. does more of the gardening? Who do you think? <laughs> he doesn't know where the weeds are. Oh, it's it's you, huh? Oh, well, we're giving you the we're giving you the high compliment. This is just gorgeous. I was here about right when it got done. It's been almost eight years now, so it it's oh really God, filled really? in. So how do you enjoy this? Love it. Love it. <laughs> this is just as in a little water feature. I mean, you literally went. You know, this is a Ferrari backyard. That's right, yeah. I think we went to a couple of pond walks. Okay. So we were garden walks and pond yep. walks and we got Pond inspired. and garden showcase tours yeah, that we do. We got uh, inspired. And everybody said if you're gonna make it make it do it right, do it bigger. I mean Exactly. <laughs> right. right. And I the one thing that uh, I had told Brian was I said, would it be possible to have the waterfall be visible from Every, all my windows? <laughs> uh huh. And I didn't think that that would be possible. <laughs> and then Uh oh. He did it. I yeah. mean it's just amazing. Well, we love it when customers can buy into our vision. And obviously you had a vision seeing it from every, okay, no problem. We'll just have to make it all throughout the backyard. But, but what really makes it is the decorations on top, the landscape. I mean, I'm just looking here at the edging with that Pachysandra and how it's grown in there. And of course, all the impatience planted right in the water. I mean, that's got to be a labor of love. You must do that every year with the impatience. Oh, right? definitely. Yes. A couple key things I wanted to really point out to you guys that I love with this pond is the size of the rocks. We call these machine rocks. Not that they're the size of machines, but we need machines to move them. You look at this bridge. Like when we put a bridge in like this, and it's just a solid, you know, six inch thick piece of stone that's nine feet long. It makes it look like it was born here. Anytime we use these big, big rocks, it makes it look so much more natural. Instead of stacking all these little cobbles, this little detail thing we did here, like a lot of times you'd stop the pond over in here, but what we did is we intentionally cut this big flat rock in here. When you cut something like this in and then cut the brick to fit back around it, it makes it look like the pond was here first and then everything else had to be designed around it. Our goal with every project is to make it look like the pond was born here and they designed the entire house around that, setting up these windows to take advantage of this natural, beautiful looking waterfall and pond they had in their backyard. As I came around the corner of the house, the first thing that always catches my attention is the size of that rock there. I mean, that's a 5,000 to 6,000 pound rock framing out these two waterfalls on the, on the right side and the left side. I love this waterfall over here. We don't do this too often, but it's a wider waterfall. A lot of times our style is to really make it narrow and get thicker water. I love how that waterfall is just spread out and you get uh, like thinner water coming over it. It gives a completely different sound than the waterfall on the left. This is what we would call a pond going into a pondless system. So we have this large, you know, 30 by 16 foot wide pond. It overflows through a deeper stream you can see how deep this stream is. You know, it's a good eight, 10 inches deep. Instead of it being really shallow, it allows a lot of um, room for frogs and stuff to hibernate. And the stream just kind of continues down. So this bridge here then takes you on this journey to this big 
cantilevered stone. I mean, look at how far this thing hangs over the water here. And what an awesome place to stop and then look at this big wide waterfall. Then it comes down through these natural stone steps that we put in underneath this redbud tree and through another giant stone bridge. And it keeps going and going and then it finishes down here by this pondless, pondless waterfall. And so this is um, a 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system. So we've actually tied downspouts and things into this project. And the whole purpose of the 3,000 gallon system was to make the pond 100% self-sustaining. So they never ever have to add city or well water to this project to keep it topped off. Mother Nature does it for them. So I'm sure I've said it before, but I gotta say it again. The key to keeping natural waterfalls is the simplicity of it. Don't stack a bunch of boulders. I mean, this whole waterfall is built out of like five rocks. One, two, three, four, five. This rock here frames out two falls, the upper one and then this one. And then we've got two more frame rocks here. It looks so much more natural, so much better when you can use as few rocks as you can possibly use to build a waterfall. Isn't that a cool looking waterfall? And it's just simple. <laughs> so over here we've got a, a room that they like to sit and have coffee in. Then you've got their family room directly behind them and then you have your kitchen over here. So part of the plan was to split this waterfall. So instead of just doing one waterfall, notice how it's split. So there's one waterfall that comes down over there really facing towards that family room area. And then this waterfall here is visible from the kitchen. Making sure anytime they're inside the house, they can always see their pond in different waterfalls. We've also got two filters on here. So we have a bio fall sitting up here and then a bog filter there. And so I wanted to make it look like it was one piece so it just naturally split. Look at how we have the bio fall sitting here, comes down into a pool. And then we intentionally set this water level just slightly lower than the bog filter up here, which is separate from this, making it look from the viewing area that this thing split up here from one pool, but they're actually independent. So they could run this independently off of this one here. This is the bog filter up here. And so this is our snorkel cap. The whole purpose for the snorkel cap is just so once a year I can twist that off, drop a pump in there and pump out some of the sediments and stuff. But the reason we put a bog filter on this pond is because one biofalls was never gonna keep a pond of this size clear. So the wetland filter we have up here is equivalent to like seven biofalls keeping that pond crystal, crystal clear. So I haven't been here since it was built. You've done a fantastic job with the gardens. It we just do, we do. makes our work look so much nicer when people actually come in and decorate yeah, it sure. afterwards. But I, we were talking, we were sitting down, and I love this story. You were talking about actually Brian spray painting this out in the winter time. Yeah, <laughs> we, we started thinking about it uh, two or three years ahead of time. We were inspired to, to go start looking, thinking about a pond where we couldn't picture it in the backyard. Yes. Had no clue. And he came out two times, I think. Finally, he, we called him out in the winter, and there was about six inches of snow on the ground. He came out with spray paint. He said, okay, here's where it's gonna be. He sprayed all the way around. Orange spray paint Orange on spray white paint. snow. We yeah. go, okay, here's where it's, okay, now I get it. And yet when he came to build it, he it changed, it, changed on, it on the fly. <laughs> Which is actually what changed we talk it. about. We, yeah. we don't like to do drawings because like you said, hey, let's turn the stream this way. We obviously get your, your sign off. And then that was one of the best additions was right. having you cross exactly. the stream twice. Well, and you know yeah. this, Greg, it sounds corny, but the rock really tells you what to do, right? And so you want to say Brian the Brian likes to say to the rocks him, talk to him. Right, but, and so know. all of a sudden you'll set a rock and then your vision yeah. has to adapt to that. Yeah. So I know we set that big rock in the center there. Mm -hmm. And then it was, yes, we should split the streams and we should do this and we right. do that. Yeah. And I don't know how our customers do it because I could never do it myself. But at some point, our customers take this enormous leap of faith right? Yeah. and just say, okay. And what helped you was visiting the pond and garden showcases and right. seeing some of the work mm -hmm. that we have done right. and right. talking to some right. of our customers yeah. that are on the showcases and getting inspired by it. This is a masterpiece. You guys should be truly proud. I loved how you said that one of the reasons you retired was you wanted to spend more time yeah. by exactly. your pond. Right. Yeah. And that we makes, that. and we do. And that's what makes our job so fun. Absolutely. So, you know, I love this stuff. Hey, if you like what you see and you like to see beautiful water features like this with cool people with awesome design talents with their gardening, like, comment, subscribe, and follow along as Brian and I check out beautiful aquascape water features. I love my job. <laughs>